Hello, YouTube! I'm Jake from Peyton B and their friend, and today I'm going to be showing off things that I've recently gotten, um, mainly for free, at the Pulaski County Public Library. Oh boy! I know this is just what you guys subscribed for. Not. <laughs> but I'm still gonna do it anyway, though. Because I want to. And I will subject all of you to it. <laughs> and first off, here we have, um... This looks like a night novel. Yeah, light novel. Even though for some reason it's hardcover. But it's called The Essence in Shadow. Very boring title. Um, yeah, now this one... Um, I got given to because the librarian... One of them was like, Oh, Jake, you might like this. It's anime, but it's not manga. I was like, whatever. So I took it, um... Yeah, I don't know, um, I don't know what to do with this, honestly. Because the date here says 2020, which I'm assuming this was probably when it was published. But I'm gonna be so for real. Some of these characters be looking AI generated, bruh. Or maybe it, it's just so boring. It did like it looks like AI even though it's not like I don't know man this art style like I'm I'm not a big fan no just be for real and like the actual like text in here like uh does anyone actually read these I mean I don't only a light novel I've ever read is No Game, No Life. <laughs> Alright, next. We got a... Now this here I did get for 25 cents, but... Alright, we got Legends of the Forgotten. Wow. Gripping Hidden Object Adventures. With thrilling plots! Mysterious characters and dynamic gameplay. <gasps> um. Yeah, uh, I don't know how interesting this is gonna be, but uh, yeah, here it is. Um. Yeah, now I can't test this out though. Because, um, I'd have to go get my laptop. So, I don't know, I might just play this, you know, for YouTube, the website we're on right now. I don't know. Um, alright, next, we got, this is another one I got for 25 cents, which I just got it, because, bro, I've seen YouTube reviews for a couple of these movies, and they're just crappy ripoffs, and I think it's funny. So I'm saving the public so that they don't have to suffer through any of this. But, yeah, let's, um, uh, alright then. Here is our DVD. Um, you know what, y'all? I don't feel like pulling out the portable DVD player. I'm gonna save this for another video where I have other stuff to show off. Because literally the rest of this video is just gonna be books. So, yeah, I will link it in the description whenever... I make a video that has that disc in it, but 
Yeah, for now, let's actually move on to all the books that I got for free. Um, alright. What does this even say? A certain magical index. Yeah, now I see why nobody was reading these, but... Like, you know what? Goodness gracious, you know, I got my, like... I got my eyes, like, popping out of my skull for this. <laughs> Nah. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, why do we got... I don't know, bro. This looks mid. Oh, I'm scared. Scared of mid mangas. <gasps> uh. Wait, hold on. I mean... I get down on my knees for her. Okay. Enough of that. Um. Back to the copyright infringement. Yeah, this is, uh, this here is volume 9. Um, that light novel that I showed, that was a volume 1. But this manga here, this is a volume 9. I don't know where any of the other volumes are. And I don't really particularly care. Alright, next, we got the same crap, but in volume 10 form. Um, did I show the back? Oh, yeah. Bro, I would not pay $13 for this. I wouldn't even pay 13 pennies for this. Yeah, this is making me think of, though, like, why... Like, there's so much, um, AI-generated art specifically of anime and manga styles. And then I realize it's because, especially currently, there's literally the same style that everyone's trying to emulate. So then, like, literally... AI's like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna eat up all this art. This is gonna be easy peasy. And people use it to generate garbage. But, like, man, you could almost argue, like, maybe the garbage is being generated from garbage. Alright, next we got the same series, but in volume 23 form. Why's this going on for so long? I'm gonna be shocked if I read this and it's, like, actually good. Because just by the covers alone and stuff, I'm having my doubts. <laughs> like, like, bro, what is this? Like, dude... I'm sorry, this dude looks like a combination between, like, L and the Nagito Kumaeda guy. Like, that's, that's just wild. Like, bro. But. Yeah, like. Nah, what is going on? Also, like, the, the just cross here for no reason, like, bruh, um, okay, next, next up, we got, oh, Kabato, sorry, I couldn't read that font, um, yeah, this is volume four here, and this, this is presented by Clamp, so I have higher hopes this one since uh, I have watched Card Captor Sakura. I liked that. And um oh yeah I read the XX Holic or was it XXX Holic? I don't remember. But I read that one and damn that one was good for real. And especially the um sequel manga the XXX Holic Re I really like that one, too. Alright, next, we got... Same thing again, Kubato, but... 
Volume 6. It's this funky little critter on the back. Uh, I don't know, but, um... Uh, apparently this is the last, um, <laughs> the last volume. I looked on the back and was looking to see if it was, because I seen, like, oh goodness, it's a wedding-like scene. I mean, if y'all have, if y'all have read a lot of, uh, shoujo manguas, then, um, then you'd know what's up, Okay. I gotta name some examples like um Tokyo Mew Mew. Um I know also like uh, Mermaid Melody, Pitchy Pitchy Pitch. Um yeah, that's only two examples I can think about on my head. Uh alright next. I actually just got these like today. Cause like the librarian, she directed me over to the shelf of free books, and then she was like, there's some Demon Slayer over there. And I was like, okay, I'll take them. Even though I don't know nothing about Demon Slayer. Um, this is volume three. And, um... Yeah, I really don't. I'm thinking about possibly... Seeing if um, my niece will take these because I know she likes Demon Slayer. And, um, yeah, I'm probably not going to get in the Demon Slayer. Sorry, y'all. Uh, I don't know. Then again, I just don't really get into Shonen that much. There's, I mean, there is a good few that I'm into. But, I mean, also, though, um... I just prefer shoujo, generally, um, cause, yeah, the shonens, I don't know, there's been a lot that I read and I just really did not connect to. So here we got Demon Slayer Volume 9, the previous one, I forgot if I said, but, um, it's Volume 3. So, yeah, this is volume nine. Uh, oh, what is going on? Now, this is probably, like, major spoilers, since I'm just flipping through all these mangas, but, like, I'm just trying to show y'all what, what's up. Uh, all right, next we got volume 19. Okay, let's uh, run through it. Oh yeah, Doma. I mean, okay, I, I said I don't know anything about Demon Slayer, but um, okay, I do because of my niece. And um, I mean, I know that like Doma, he's. <whistles> oh, wait, hold up! I got like my lips. I can whisper. I mean, not whisper, bro. What the freak? No, so I can whistle. Go like... <whistles> like that. Uh, like, he's kind of like that. <laughs> okay, like, apparently he's a bit of a... I don't remember what I heard about him. Like, a control freak. <laughs> I don't know. Is he, like, control freaky? Like, Makima? Because... Uh, oh, boy, I like Makima. Oh, sure. And, yeah, if uh, you guys like this video, um, give us a like, give us a subscriber, and comment down below if you know any of these series and you think my opinion's trash. Um, because you know what? I'll, I'll hear you out, okay? You might... You might manage to change my opinion, because I'm harsh on things sometimes. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.